you know, I think there's, there's, um, you know, like I was saying, if the people lead, then politicians will follow. And I think, you know, engaging on policy, you know, is one thing, and it's, it's great to be uh, literate on this. Um, you know, ultimately, it, once you start going into the policy realm, things get pretty complicated, and um, uh, and it's challenging to <clears throat> have a sustained engagement on those issues. And it's so easy for for politicians to kind of bullshit their way uh, through this uh, around policy. So certainly at that level of engagement is important, uh, connecting with your you know, elected representatives in between elections, you know, writing those letters. But there's a certain element of like bodies in the street, I think, that, that needs to happen. And so I was really inspired. I, I feel like, to be honest, I go to some pretty dark places <laughs> on this stuff. Um, but, um, you know, with, with Greta and the youth movement around climate action that we saw last year, that um, that element of getting bodies in the street so that um, politicians pay attention and not just, you know, uh, once a year on a nice day on the weekend, but, you know, more regularly. I was actually very inspired by the uh, pre-COVID uh, Indigenous protests uh, across uh, Canada, which were, you know, linked to a pipeline connecting the fracking fields in the northeast of BC to LNG in the northwest of, of BC. Uh, that became, um, you know, a spark for, uh, you know, protests that were actually uh, you know, shutting down ports and, you know, stopping traffic and, and inconveniencing people. And, you know, I'm not necessarily the one to be the, <laughs> saying that um, protests should inconvenience uh, people, but uh, I think, you know, we do need bodies in the street and we, in, in order to keep politicians focused. And if there's a movement there and there's, you know, strong demand for change, then politicians will move to get out in front of it. But I don't think we're putting nearly enough pressure on them.